Hey everyone, I'm in LA today and uh, uh, doing lots of sightseeing and visiting some fun places. I'm gonna turn on the air, it's really uh, hot and humid here today. It's, uh, uh, I think it's just about, well, it's uh, uh, almost summer, maybe another uh, few weeks. And uh, it's much more humid up here than it is in uh, Palm Springs where we have a uh, much more heat, but it's dry and it feels a lot more pleasant. So uh, I'm heading over now to uh, the Angeles Rosedale, I think that's what it's called, uh, cemetery in Los Angeles. And uh, I'm heading there to see one person, uh, Hattie McDaniel. McDaniel, And um, she's buried there. And the reason she's buried there is that um, um, when she died, uh, most of the cemeteries were in LA were still segregated, and they didn't allow African Americans to be buried uh, in white cemeteries, if you can believe that. I mean, it's just bizarre. It kind of just blows my mind that uh, there was even segregation in the cemeteries. So uh, she was buried at Angelus um, Rosedale, which is actually pretty close to Hollywood, uh, where she wanted to be buried. She wanted to be buried uh, in this cemetery. I'm here at the uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery. They have a cenotaph um, memorial for her, uh, but uh, she wasn't uh, allowed to be buried here. I mean, of all things, I mean, she was one of the most famous people of her time, and uh, and wealthy, and uh, they still wouldn't let her um, be buried here. It's crazy, but it's good things have changed. So um, anyway, I'm heading over there, and uh, we'll uh, see if I can find her grave. I haven't had much luck uh, lately with some of the graves, uh, so but it gives me an excuse to come back to some of these cemeteries. So anyway, see you soon. So it took me about uh, 10 minutes or so to drive from the uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Hollywood uh, to the uh, Angeles Rosedale Cemetery in Los Angeles. And I would say uh, it's about uh, maybe five, 10 miles away. It's located on Washington Boulevard at the corner of Normandy Avenue and just uh, a block or so from the uh, uh, was it the Santa Monica Freeway? Actress Hattie McDaniel has the honor of being the very first African American woman to win an Academy Award. And to this day, there have been very, very few uh, other uh, uh, African American women to win the Oscar. She won the award for playing uh, the role of, of Mammy in the uh, uh, classic 1939 film Gone with the Wind. Over the years, it's been reported that Hattie McDaniel's uh, final wish was to be buried at the Hollywood Cemetery, which is now called the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Unfortunately, at the time of her death, cemeteries in Los Angeles were segregated and she was not allowed to be buried at the Hollywood Cemetery. One of the only cemeteries in the Los Angeles area that was desegregated at the time was the um, uh, Rosedale Angeles Cemetery, where she actually is buried today. Years later, when uh, the Hollywood Cemetery was desegregated, uh, the owner, the new owner uh, of the um, Hollywood Forever uh, Cemetery, offered to um, move uh, Hattie McDaniel uh, to the cemetery where she wanted to uh, uh, call her final resting place, but her family declined and uh, decided to leave her at the Angeles um, um, Rosedale Cemetery, where she is today. Here's a look at uh, some of the other uh, headstones in this uh, very historic um, uh, cemetery in Los Angeles. So instead of moving her body to the uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery, a memorial was created, a cenotaph, uh, was created at uh, Hollywood Forever to uh, honor uh, Hattie McDaniels. And this is the uh, memorial here, which you see in front of the lake. It's in a very beautiful area. And some people visit here and they don't realize that this is not actually her grave, but just a memorial uh, to her.
you can find her memorial in the Garden of Legends section uh, near some of uh, the biggest names in Hollywood. So as always, thanks for watching and uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section and give it a thumbs up if you like this video.